Hi there guys, Neil Atti, Tally Autos here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Behind me, we have a Fiat Barchetta. It's not been on the road for probably getting on for 10 years now. I think the customer said 10 years anyway. So it needs a bit of love and a TLC. But before we crack on with anything, I'm gonna get it on the ramp and see how it's holding up, just so I can give the customer an update before we start doing the cam belt and changing all the fluids and, and waters and things like that. So let's have a look around it. Starting at the front, tons of stone chips on there. Headlights are still in a reasonable condition, not too much hazing on them. It's got Mark II Punto wheels fitted to it. They are going to be changed. We do have some of the original steelies over there to put on. It's actually not too bad. There's no rust coming through there. Rear arches are all nice and clean. Rear lights aren't cracked or hazed. Fiat badge is a bit faded at the back. The rear screen is all good. The roof itself looks pretty good. A little bit of stretching down there. The seals aren't the greatest on this side. So that's gonna be, let, he's letting in water in fact. I'll show you uh, the driver's side. This is one of the problems we're gonna to have to fix. As you can see, the hood seems to have shrunk a little bit, so it's pulled itself that way. And the seals, are letting water through unfortunately we had to leave it outside the other night when it was delivered to me and it's a little bit wet on the inside so so i do want to get it on the ramp just to see how the rust is underneath he did say that a couple of years ago it did have some rust repairs to it so you want to check those out and make sure they're all okay still tow bar fitted i don't know how much you could probably tow with one of those other than a a little sort of garden waste trailer um passenger side a little bit of a, is it a little dent there I can't tell, no it isn't. Nice colour actually, I do like it. Makes you want to uh, continue working on my Barchetta. So right, let's have a look at the interior now. There's not much to show you because it's all uh, all good and it's quite basic on the inside. A um, little dirty and grimy. Seats are very similar to the Mark 1 Punto. This one has got a glove box. Mine doesn't have a glove box. I should assume that was an option back in the day. clock is faded but you can still get hold of those used anyway uh, a little bit of wear on the gear surround a uh, nice uh, period JVC stereo in there the vehicle has done 97,000 kilometers let's have a listen to the engine now let's make sure the immobilizer isn't on you hear that starter motor catch a little bit then, so it's probably going to want to start a motor refurbishment if we want to go that far with it. Variator, let's listen for that now. Variator, reasonably quiet, but I think the customer's put one in anyway, so we'll see if he wants me to change that along with it. So let's move on to the next bit now. So on to under the bonnet. Battery looks relatively new. No rust along the chassis legs. Engine oil itself is nice and clean. Coolant bottle looks a little bit stained. And it's just got water in there, so we're going to want to change that. Power steering fluid. Looks a little dark, so we might have to change that as well. Um, brake fluid. I would imagine that is 100% going to want changing. Uh, yep, sure it is. It's a dirty brown colour. Don't even need to test that. It's so far gone. Everything else looks okay. A little bit of greasy oil deposits there, but that's nothing to worry about. Um, a little bit leaking from the rocker cover. Cam belt was last changed in 2012, so um, it definitely needs changing. Pipe isn't hauled or anything like that. All well, looks good to me. Let's get it on the ramp and we'll check the underneath and the suspension. Right, let's take a look under this front corner. We are rust free under there, or relatively anyway. Um, front shock is a little bit corroded in the spring too, but there's no signs of uh, it leaking. The discs and pads, the pads, from what I can see, have about half the life left, but the discs have a really big lip on them. 
Bit of rust coming through underneath there. And I said earlier there was no rust there, but there is it starting to come through the seam here. And behind, you can't tell because it's got a cover on it. A um, little bit of rust up there. Under the arch, there's a little bit coming through towards the back, but nothing major at all. That can be all caught nice and early. Corroded rear discs. So we've got distant pads on the back. Rear bumper is all there. It's not been damaged or cut. No rust that side, luckily. A little bit again coming through on the inner edge, but nothing to worry about at the moment. And same with the distant pads, more corrosion. On the underside, all good at the back. Front, again, a little bit of rust coming through there. Rear shock is the same, and a little bit of rust coming through every, in a few little spots, but again, nothing to stress about. And there's not gonna be much to see on the front bumper, just making sure there's no cracks, because they are very susceptible for having their front end bumped. No, nope, we're all good. Right, let's continue at the back. Uh, you can see the back of the pads there, the pads, the discs even, and they are quite rusty and corroded. Rear subframe isn't in too bad of a shape, actually. They're normally a lot more rusty than that. The rear legs are okay on both sides. It's got a performance exhaust fitted. Let's check the chassis out now. As you can see where it's had its little bit of a repair there. And unfortunately it's rusting again, so that could do with tidying up. And the same on this side. And a little bit of rust coming through there. But the back of the chassis is in really good health. I mean, look at all of the nooks and crannies, like with it, the, because these are chassis are very similar to the Mark 1 Puntos. They are almost a Mark 1 Punto. And uh, all behind here is all good. Exhaust isn't leaking. There's no signs of massive engine oil leaks. Front support bar is rusty, but I think I've got another one to put on anyway. Genuine oil filter fitted, nothing leaking around it. And you can see the pads at the back, again, have a nice amount of corrosion and lip to them, so they are gonna want changing. The wishbones, without testing them, they look as though they're okay. Anti-roll bar bushes look okay. We've got some sort of an oil leak around the back here. Let's have a sniff of that. Doesn't smell like gearbox oil. So we need to have a look at that and see where that's coming from. So guys, what do you think of it? I don't think it's in that bad of a shape. It doesn't need any welding underneath. It could just do with those two little bits tarting up again to make sure it doesn't rust anymore. Um, cam belt, fluids, MOT, and I'd say it's pretty much ready to go. So, um... so here we are, a few months after filming the first part of the episode. Here it is, all finished. It's had a little bit of paintwork done to it. It's got the original wheels fitted to it, which have been fully blasted and repainted. The rust has been removed down the bottom there, and that is all uh, tickety-boo now. Just giving it a quick wash to get rid of some dust on it, because it has been sitting for a while. So another car has been saved and put back on the road. Thank you guys for watching. A lot of my traffic on the channel now is new traffic, so please hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next episode.